really pleased to be here and um, on this symposium, certainly how we empower ourselves uh, for better health is a, a big topic here and areas that we have more control over. Uh, our nutrition, our, our lifestyle. And so I am so pleased to have with me today uh, Angie Kolasek Ibrahimi. She's Senior Director of Lifestyle Medicine at Blue. And what a what an intriguing topic. So I'm, I'm so looking forward to learning more about lifestyle medicine. And Angie, if you could uh, talk about your role and uh, what lifestyle medicine is and, and what you do as being head of that department. Absolutely. And I think it's um, interesting to hear that a health plan has a department called lifestyle medicine. And so I feel very honored and grateful to be a part of the work that we do at Blue Shield of California uh, in the lifestyle medicine space. And so people always ask me, well, well, what is lifestyle medicine and why does Blue Shield have this department? Why is it important? Um, it, you know, there are hundreds and thousands of clinical studies that show how lifestyle has the power not only to prevent, but also to treat and reverse chronic conditions. And we look especially across kind of the whole range of cardiometabolic conditions um, that are so prevalent in our society today. And um, trying to get to the heart of like, what is the most clinically effective, cost-effective treatment that's out there? And also one that all of the side effects are positive, right? So um, really that is what lifestyle medicine is. We have a suite of digital care solutions that are lifestyle based. Um, we started our platform, which is called Wellvolution. And uh, we primarily started in the cardiometabolic space. So diabetes prevention was kind of the cornerstone, kind of how we set it up. We added diabetes treatment and reversal, um, heart disease, hypertension, obesity management. And then as we kind of moved forward, we realized we also wanted to include things like mental health. So we have mental health digital apps on the platform that people can either do alone or pair with the work they're doing in cardiometabolic. We recently added musculoskeletal solutions, and we also, of course, sort of table stakes have a tobacco cessation program for our members. Yeah, that's amazing, Angie. And I think what I'm what I'm gathering here is you're really approaching this from a holistic standpoint because there are so so many core mor morbidities that that happen with these uh, cardiometabolic conditions. Uh, looking at at one or a couple independently is, is probably not treating or looking at the individual as a whole. And I think that it sounds like the angle of lifestyle medicine is is also looking at not just the drug, not just the numbers, but actually the person and how they're living their life. So could you could you talk more about Wevolution and how these programs are offered in that regard and, and how uh, patients or individuals through through this program from Blue even become aware of what, what to choose and how to select? Yeah, absolutely. So from the get-go, when a member of Blue Shield of California goes to Wellvolution, they are asked a series of questions. And those questions... Um, they they drive at things like what are your what first of all what are your health needs you know what kind of conditions are you looking to to treat and reverse um, and then what are your health uh, what's your health history and then what are your health preferences like do you prefer a Mediterranean diet or are you a vegetarian um, you know would you be would your lifestyle be conducive to a keto diet depending on if you're trying to look at type 2 diabetes so we really try to understand who that person is and what can work for them and based on that we then recommend one of the digital solutions um, that's that's in the platform the member still has the the choice the freedom to make a different choice than we recommend but it really I think most people do go with that recommended option because it really kind of helps them get started. Um, once they're in that program, it, it is it is highly personalized. So even if you go into the solution that is Mediterranean or keto or fill in the blank, 
um, each of the programs that we offer has a health coach that spends time with that member, um, gets to know what is working for them. Um, many of them have wireless remote devices that are attached, so weight scales, glucometers, some are measuring ketones, blood pressure cuffs. So they're seeing the data come back in and based on, hey, it looks like you aren't doing so well with some of these recommendations. Let's switch it up. Let's try this and that. Um, in addition, exercise, you know, this is the kind of the nutrition component, but exercise is a key and critical component of any kind of cardiometabolic program. Um, it not only does it help with weight loss or driving to better outcomes, but it also makes you stronger and feel sort of more energized. And I think that kind of propagates success for our members. And then of course, the mental health aspect. So all of the programs that we offer um, have a mental health component. So the health coach is checking in saying like, how are you doing? And, and there are there's content on the different program sites that allow people to go and read more about um, how they can meditate, and they can also uh, select our mental health options on Wellvolution and do both, right? Do them side by side. So there's a lot of ways that we are trying to get at the whole person. Incredible, um, Angie. And when individuals are, are looking at the programs, is, is it up to them in terms of can they choose how, how in the level of engagement they feel comfortable with. Um, and, and also in terms of uh, health outcomes, uh, how, how do you look at uh, data and, and whether the evidence is actually showing that there is improvement in health outcomes? Can you talk a little bit more about that as well? Absolutely. It's interesting that you bring up engagement because we have very clearly seen that that the members who are highly engaged usually hit the best outcomes. And we are tracking outcomes. I, I mentioned that we have these wireless devices. So depending on the condition that the person is addressing, um, let's just use weight loss as an example, they'll get a wireless scale. And so we are getting um, that those results back from the individual members and then in aggregate. So we are seeing fantastic results. Uh, you know, if you think about people who start diets, what percentage of people actually are successful on those quote unquote diets? Very few, right? People go on, they go off, they yo-yo up and down. We're getting 25 to 30% of the people that are engaging in these programs hitting clinically significant outcomes. And for the ones that are highly engaged, they're hitting like 65% of them are hitting outcomes. So this is a, a really important distinction. The more sort of a dose response, the more that you're engaged, right. the better you're going to do. Um, I think this is one of the, the reasons I love my job so much is that seeing people actually succeed. I, I think that there's a lot of naysayers out there that are like, well, lifestyle change is hard. You know, it's, it's a lot easier to just prescribe a medication, but when a member goes through a change in lifestyle, it's not just the condition that's going away. Their whole life is changing. So we get these testimonials from our members that are like, thank you, Wellvolution. Thank you, Blue Shield of California. You, you've really changed my life. Not only am I no longer a diabetic, but I can run and play with my grandkids. Um, I enjoy my life more. I have more energy. I'm traveling. I'm not in pain. I mean, there's so much, I'm sleeping better. My sex life is better. I mean, all of these things that go along with being a happy, healthy person from lifestyle. So again, yes, it's, it's very gratifying and we're seeing some terrific results. Uh, I, I can uh, totally resonate with what you're saying uh, in terms of, um, patients and, and people trying to improve their life, have having a family that has some of these uh, cardiometabolic conditions. I think we focus so much on weight and not actually all of the other benefits that are coming. It's not just about the weight loss. That's only one real aspect. I like to think about the side effects of weight loss being the, the, the other benefits that are really coming. And I think that can help to drive inspiration to keep the habits, to really 
it's it's not about how you look. Looking better is a, a benefit, but it's really about what's happening inside and and also how you're living your life. So that that's pretty good, uh, very good data that you're you're sharing there on on the engagement side. I think uh, one thing you know there, there's such an uh, epidemic of obesity, and we we see all the GLP one medications that are out there. Um, how how have you been seeing um, that coming into play with patients and and how they are managing their conditions with these types of drugs that are uh, needed for a certain uh, uh, population, but also it comes with caution. Yeah, um, it's a very complex topic. So I think what I'll say about these are like the GLP-1 medications that are now kind of all the craze. The Zempic, which, which is a, a useful medication for people with type 2 diabetes, um, but then the off-brand Wegovi for people who are trying to address obesity, um, there are some significant costs, as you say, from taking these medications. One of them that is quite significant it is um, sarcopenia or muscle loss. So we're starting to see that people who are on these medications are losing sort of more muscle than they even would lose on a diet. And, and whenever you're losing um, body weight, some of that will be muscle, that's normal, but it's very, very important to, to manage that, right? We don't wanna, you, we don't want your muscle mass to decrease to the extent that you um, go into um, your senior um, elder years with frailty, right? And I think that's one of the things that I worry about a lot with the GLP-1 medications. We are providing another option for our members that are using these drugs, um, which is Wellvolution. So we, we actually ask our members to do six months of a weight management program before approving uh, a, weight go, a weight loss medication. Um, so many times people don't go on to take the medication because they found another way, a better way mm -hmm. to address their weight loss. And even those that do go on to take the medication to kind of finish their journey, um, the programs that we offer are helping them safely get off of the medication because this is another cost, quote unquote, that we're seeing is right. that people get off the medication, they gain all the weight back. So to have that partner to help them move through that transition of getting off the med, but keeping their weight in a healthy place. That's fantastic. You've addressed some of the barriers and call to actions here in, in terms of lifestyle medicine and really looking at that first as a, as a first option and, and actually can uh, result in some solutions before uh, taking some other measures. Thank you so much, Angie. I'm, I'm sure this conversation and what you've shared has inspired a lot of people to relook at their health in different ways and introducing lifestyle medicine as a treatment choice. Thank you so much. Thank you, Zina. Pleasure to be here.